So what subs and box, what, what all of that in this here? This is a uh, two IVX 10s scar on a 800 watt scar amp. And okay. Can I see the amp? Yeah. I don't know if I saw it when you had the seat back. There it is. You see a piece of it. Yep. What truck is this? Uh, 1995 Dodge Dakota Sport single cab. All right. Thank you, man. Yes, nice sir. to meet you. What was your name? Jordan. Jordan. Yes, All sir. right. Head unit dash you. I've never heard of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you made, is this working? No. No, I'm, I got to get a new amp to put on it. Okay. Thanks, man. Yep. Yeah, man, go ahead and do your thing. 46? All right. How low does it play down to? Uh, it likes 44, and I can play down to 30. It's 1999, nigga. St. Clair. Cleveland is the city where we come from, so love it, you Boy, you a disgrace. Get your 
sit on. Awesome. Oh, man. Thanks, ma'am. They ain't oh. no diss to G's. Ooh. What's going on guys, I'm Jacob Varro, do daily cardio videos. Hope you enjoyed the build today with a little bit different, with uh, two tens. I think they were shallow mounts, I'm not 100%, but in the back of the single cab truck. Got some discussions to make on that, before that just want to say thank you guys for always watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, give some feedback in the comment section. Whether it's good or bad, try to keep it positive. Try to keep a positive channel for Cardio World. So uh, thanks for guys for watching. If you have questions about Cardio, feel free to ask as well. So I do a shout out today. Today I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a shout out. Shout out today is gonna go to Fam Shot Caller. He's been a subscriber for a while. He asked for a shout out, so go ahead and give him a shout out real quick. Let me find a picture. All right, his is pretty long and also be able to answer his question. He said, hey, Jacob, man, I love your videos you put up. You get the best footage. Would love a shout out. So there's your shout out, man. He said, hey, man, I also got a question about what's the best place for, he's regarding to the trunk, what's the best place if you have your subs facing one way and then your port is on the other side of the box. So the port's on the side and your subs are facing forward. And he said, I currently have the subs firing in the forward into the cabin but my box is pretty big, that is almost seals the entire trunk area. Can you help me figure out if I should face them toward the trunk or keep them for facing forward? So, first off, every build's different, every cabin's different. Try both, subs face forward, subs face back. I personally would put port, since it's on the side, port facing towards the driver's side. That way the passenger side will be the loudest, not just for competition, but just in general, it seems to demo better for the passengers um with that and most likely you want your subs facing the back because it's not sealed off and your ports in the trunk so you're going to want to have as much as you can space towards the back of the trunk with a little bit of space gap test it out move it around and see where you get the best output and that's probably where i would do um it varies from system to system let's just go for this case scenario this guy's got his subs facing forward in this build if he reverse it and face it the other way it might be louder you never know it's only in trial and error every vehicle is different some people like to face the subs forward, some like to face them back, some like to face them up. All it depends on the box and the builder. You're just, in general, prefab box as well. Anyway, so next thing on here. So port placement and trial and error. Make sure you always trial and error on everything you do. Don't just assume it's the loudest because of it's how the person that cardio shot put it in for you. Or you put it in and you think it's the loudest. And next thing on the list I wanted to discuss is I don't have very many builds about single cabs, but I get a lot of guys ask about trucks with single cabs. So all you got to do is go to my YouTube channel and search single cab or single, and it should show you single subs and single cab builds. I think I have four or five, and I have like 40 some builds with single cab subs or single subwoofer builds. Single cabs, I only got like four or five, but it's pretty impressive to see. Um, different variety. So this guy is a small budget daily driver build, so I consider it budget. But um, that's all I got. Don't forget, check them out Instagram and, and Facebook. Don't forget to add me if you haven't, and stay tuned for video tomorrow. Until then, check them all out.